Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. It is the following day since the last one. This is officially the second day that Jazeera spent at the inn. It is 7.49am. He's up early because he's pretty impatient, frankly. But as you can see outside, it has finally stopped raining. It rained for the entirety of yesterday. He's not tremendously happy about that, but what are you going to do, I suppose? So, having settled our bill with the innkeeper, I think he's going to be finally on his way. As we continue making our way towards the Imperial City, or possibly Shaden Hall, we haven't decided. <laughs> I, although I think, to be honest, once Jazir gets like a proper glimpse of the Imperial City in the distance, he's going to be like, wow, I want to go there. So I can't think of a reason why he wouldn't do that instead of, you know, why, why, yeah, why he, why he wouldn't do that and instead go, oh no, I, I missed good little shade in Hall instead. Nah, I think if he got one, one look at the Imperial City in the background, he'd be like, hell yeah, that's my destination. Also, look. It's crazy lady on a black horse again. <laughs> just, just thinking to himself, I, I really need to get one of those. <laughs> also, it looks like she's being chased by something in the distance there. Someone just cast a spell. <laughs> she has been up and down this road many times in my short time I've been trying to walk up it. I simply must get one of these horses. Hello. You get any closer and I'll turn your bones to ash. Back off. Uh, the feeling is mutual. That's the kind of reception he's used to getting from Dark Elves. <laughs> Uh, you can hold still for a minute. Oh, 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 so very close. Damn it. Never mind. No venison for us. It would probably be a nice view from here if it went for all the trees. I oh, know, what have we found here? It's a farm of some sort. With a lot of flax. Oh, I have some memories of this place. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, no, just to save. Okay, and that, that'll do. Ooh, a horse. And cows! That I can milk, apparently. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I just accidentally milked the cow. <laughs> oh, how do you even do that? <laughs> and toast to unexpected surprises, everyone. Quite small cows, aren't they, actually? Little miniature cows. With giant fences, I'm noticing. Come up to eye level, almost. Who lives here? Jonathan's cabin. Well, whoever Jonathan is, he's not around. Although he does have quite a nice little cabin. Ooh. Ooh, a rusted blades helmet. That suddenly makes this more interesting, doesn't it? That paints a picture and a flawless diamond just sitting there. That, that, that certainly goes from being just some farmer's wooden cabin to, ooh, there's a bit of a story here. Oh, there you are. 
Greetings. What do you want? Jonathan Odil. Well, of course, if you played this game before, you'll know that, that he, he must be the uncle of, or, or the third brother of the Odil brothers in, in, in Coral. One of the Odil family. Apparently, Take care. one of the Odils was a, was a blade. Now retired, I guess. Or working undercover, but probably retired. On a little farm out here in the Nibbin Basin. Well, well, well. Look, he even has a nice little spot here. Empty silver pitcher, a fine crystal ball, and magic from the sky. This is reading of choice. As he looks after his miniature cows and really big chickens. It's not just me, is it? Those seem like quite large chickens. My cat is meowing at the door right now. I'm filming this episode right after the last one, so we're still in the wake of the mouse incident. He's meowing at the door because he wants to come into the office, but he can't because he's not climbing around on furniture, or indeed people, until he's cleaned his bloody claws and his paws. And gotten all the dead mouse off them. Great. Just my luck. There's loads of them, look. No friendly guar around to bail me out this time either, it seems. Alright, gotcha. This dagger really is... For, for just an iron dagger, it kicks ass, man. I love the speed of it. That's the main thing that makes it work so well. Actually, pop off lots of those fire damage attacks really quick. This is a hold up. Hand it over or die. <laughs> it's a little late to be offering the ultimatum, isn't it? No. Actually, that's the way this one prefers it. You're a little more polite than your friends, but I'm still not giving you my money. <laughs> what a peculiar encounter that turned out to be. Ugh. Been poisoned. Take your ring. Uh, where do the other ones end up? I'm actually not sure. Uh, where was I when they attacked to begin with? Well, if I wait around for long enough, I suppose some vultures will start, start circling, but... Ideally, I'd like to leave them a bit sooner than that. Where did they go? Where are you, dead bandits? Where did you end up? That's one of them. A rolling bee. You know what? I'll take it. Hopefully it doesn't over and come to me, though. Doesn't good. All right, I think there was one more, but I've given up at this point. Unless, oh hello. Well, there's a vulture. I think he's circling around you, isn't he? They appear with remarkable efficiency. All right, well that's enough. I'll, I'll, let's be on our way, shall we? Um, I'm thinking about maybe getting a bit closer to the the shoreline again. Back where the Nern roots are and there's fewer trees and fewer bandits to jump out of them. I mean, there's the odd water dragon, but honestly, I'd, I'd take a water dragon over this lot any day. Well, I was just admiring the view of Breville, and I was about to comment on it, and then suddenly, the very second 
I press the record button, suddenly blood wasps, apparently. And also a crab. Stupid thing. Crabs with coins. Anyway, here we are at the bank of the Nibbon. There's Breville. There's a weird looking island that uh, I'm sure is of no importance whatsoever. And we're just going to go ahead and walk across. You know what? Theoretically, the safest and quickest way to the Imperial City might just be to walk up the Nibbon. But uh, I think being surrounded by quite that, that much water might make uh, might make just see, I feel a little bit nervous. So perhaps we won't do that. <laughs> Still, it's a thought. I mean, you're pretty much guaranteed not to be attacked by bandits if you're walking along the, a massive river. And there it is. That hoved into view quite perfectly, didn't it? The Imperial City. Magnificent. And yes, as, as previously discussed, it was just be like... Right. Screw Chaden Hall. I am going straight there. This place looks amazing. He's never seen it before. He's probably seen illustrations of it in books, perhaps. Had it described to him. But he's never laid eyes upon the Imperial City himself. Also, there's a little jetty here for some reason. Don't really know why. I mean, there's no buildings here or anything. There's no reason this jetty should be here. It's just here. Something wants us dead. Lovely. It's uh, another mud crab. Haha. <laughs> Freshwater crab, in fact. It's all purpley. That's a bit different. Hmm. Not, a mud, not in fact a mud crab. A freshwater crab. Nice bit of Baldur's Gate music in the background. Played a lot of Baldur's Gate lately on my Nintendo Switch. Because I discovered that actually, amazingly, someone did port the Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale, and Planescape Torment games over to the over to the Switch, and the console port for them is actually amazingly quite good, which just you know, which was came as quite a surprise, I gotta tell you. Uh, but it is actually decent. I recommend it. It's kind of nice being able to play Baldur's Gate wherever I go on a glorified Game Boy. In fact. I can not only play Baldur's Gate and all the other Infinity Engine games, but I can also play Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, the action RPG they released for consoles, which I also happen to really, really enjoy. So I've got my two favourite Baldur's Gate games on there. I've got the actual Baldur's Gate games, and I've got Dark Alliance on there as well, on the same console, which fits in my pocket. To quote Captain Jack Aubrey, what a fascinating modern age we live in. Could have only dreamed of that back in the day. Back when I did my original Oblivion Let's Play on this channel in 2011. If you proposed to me the notion that I could play Baldur's Gate on a handheld console, I'd have thought you were very silly. I thought that won't happen. Don't be daft. That's a goblin over there. Let's just quickly drink a potion. And I'm over encumbered yet again, of course. Um, on too many known routes, apparently. <laughs> About an eaten onion. That was of equivalent weight. That'll sort the problem. Right. <laughs> Shinbone Cave. Apparently where we are. Oh, the flame effect alone killed him, even though he parried the blow. Well, sorry. Bad luck, Mr. Goblin. The Iron Dagger's probably just looking around for something to eat, wasn't he? Wandering along the shore with his little dagger. Hoping to kill a crab or something. Have some lunch. 
I could go into Shinbone Cave, but to tell you what, I'm not gonna, because... I mean, there's a Nernru over there I could go grab, but I'm not going to, because we're, we, we're at, sorry, at our absolute carry weight limit at the moment. The only thing Jizzy wants to do is get over there and uh, sell his crap for lots of money so he's not carried around anymore. And oh look, who could this be? Pay up or else. Why are all of you highwaymen Khajiit? You are giving us a bad name, you know. Actually, that's the way this one prefers it. What the hell has he just done to me? My strength is being drained. That's the one stat. I didn't need you to drain, man. You could have drained any of the others, and it wouldn't have mattered except for that one. You bastard. <laughs> do I have another potion of strength anywhere? I don't, do I? Oh, God. Do I have any wine or booze that would... Oh, I hate you so much. Let me just quickly drop my battle axe. You get... Uh. Well, if he wasn't dead when I hit him, he certainly is now. I guess I'll be on my way. <laughs> I suppose Jizia could just walk to walk across to there, couldn't he? Or to the Imperial Isle. In fact sort of building over there. Hmm. No, I think we'll go around the normal way. There might be a, might be a little village around here somewhere we can stop at. Uh-oh. Okay, not interested in fighting you guys right now. Apparently I am one... I'm one strength poison away from being immobilized again, so... Let's just go around the nasty bandits. Don't start anything, crab. Past that foreboding looking forest over there in the background. Don't think I didn't notice that. Oh look, wild horses. Well, I'll be damned. They look a bit more like ponies, really. They're quite small. They're nice. <laughs> That's a wolf running around over there, chasing a deer by the looks of things. And this is a really great aqueduct, which isn't fully loaded in uh, because of the aforementioned distant terrain issue, unfortunately. And this is probably the most egregious example of it we'll come across as we play the game, but unfortunately I don't have any distant terrain for this marvellous aqueduct because, um, yeah, when I try to generate distant terrain for the game, the game crashes. So, unfortunately, it's a bit immersion-breaking just having this pop out of it nowhere and then disappear into nowhere again, but unfortunately, we're just going to have to live with it, I'm afraid. Bit of a shame, I know. Nothing I can do about it, sadly. Oh, hello, here we go. Here's a little village. Pellsgate. Someone should teach you some manners. I'm gonna go talk to someone else. Git. How are you? Welcome better. to Pell's Gate, friend. Hello. Nice to meet you. Go ahead. Let's just have a exchange a bit of conversation with this lady, shall we? Uh do do do. Okay, she likes these two, so You win this one. Gracious, what a hero. Speechcraft increased, yay! Gracious, what a hero. What a dumb joke. Yes, to see it is a great hero. You've... No, that's... That's amazing. It was. It was, I tell you. It was, it was incredible. Shame I couldn't stick around very long, but you know. 
be seeing you. Yeah, be seeing you as well. The sleeping mare. Welcome to Pell's Gate, friend. Hello. A little food and drink will do you some you... good. You sell potions. That's not what I was expecting. Will you buy stuff off me? Preferably something that weighs a decent amount. Oh, there you go. You can have my. You can have this An troll fat, I suppose. Bargain. That's what we get by. Apparently. Come back and see me again. Uh, will do. Enough. Welcome to. Any rumors? Is there anywhere in Tamriel you can avoid rats? Disease spreading little nuisances. Uh, yes, actually, you can Stop go to Skyrim. They have. Uh, they have these things called skeevers instead, which, to be honest, are not much nicer. They're about the same. Anytime now. But technically, there are no rats. Oh, good lord. A bandit invasion. Brilliant. Oh god, that was an Imperial Legionary. That's a good thing our aim was a bit off there, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I'll leave you to deal with that. <laughs> he did not look happy, did he? <laughs> uh, let's drop a save. Lots of doomstones around here. I swear that's the second I've seen. Along this road. Oh, there's the big bridge. Which I feel like has a name, but I'm not sure. More alien ruins? Can't go five feet without bumping into them in Cyrodiil, apparently. Bindersel. Well, smaller looking ones. Hello. Skingrad, Kvatch, Anvil, Breville, Leowin, Faragil. It's that way, apparently. Don't know how he missed that, but. Oh, well, unless it's down here somewhere. Yeah. That would make sense. I'm over encumbered. Oh, for goodness sake, game. Just in time for combat to start as well, by the sounds of it. Let's eat some boar meat, I guess. And some corn. Right, we had lunch. There you go. You happy, game? Um. Ugh. There's an Imperial Legionary just running off into the woods there. Well, that conjurer made a very poor life choice. <sighs> Didn't even have anything on him worth taking. Pfft. Oh, look at that view, though. With those mountains in the background. There's something about the mountains in this game. They just look really vast. Don't they? They just look huge. Kind of remind me of the, the Swiss Alps or something. I think the distant terrain in this game plays it does a, it does a very kind of clever thing with like a weird f fake force perspective or whatever because I bet you those mountains wouldn't seem quite as huge if the distant terrain actually drew the trees further away than it does because you notice the trees only go up to a certain way and then it stops bothering to draw them if it did those mountains would look a lot smaller I suspect because you'd realize that oh actually the trees on them are quite small I'm um, sorry the trees are quite big even should make them look small, but because it culls it to a certain distance, it makes the distant terrain look bigger than it actually is. Oh, look, bandits. What a surprise. 
the absolute state of the roads. What is going on with the Imperial Legion? We've seen like a whole two Imperial Legionaries on, on the road here today, and about 50 times that many bandits. Things really have gone downhill since that Emperor guy died, huh? And it's only been like a week. I don't know, it's looking more civilized. We've got some sheep. A little village of some sort. Hello, Doge. Oh, Christ, really, game? Look, I'll eat the mutton. I, look, I, see, I'm stuffed. What is it that's draining my strength? What's screwing up my stats right now? This is weird. I'm thirsty, is that it? Thirsty and tired, I guess. I'm going to have a look in the ini file for the... Uh, basic needs mod or whatever it's called and see if I can tweak some things because it seems a little bit harsh right now if I'm honest the the apps the, the quantity of stuff that we have to eat and drink in order to avoid really quite punishing stat damage is a little bit ridiculous in fact I'm tempted to uninstall it altogether actually it's sort of getting in the way of the roleplay rather than enhancing it at this point. Uh, this is way, apparently. Hello. Best not get in my way, fool. You'll wind up dead. Oh, what a love, delightful welcome to the Imperial City's... Well, the Imperial Capital. Hello. Thelonious is fine imports. Um, okay, we're saving, apparently. Welcome to Way, stranger. My name's Thelonius. I'm a travelling merchant, late of Balmora. See anything you like? Let me know. Balmora, you say. Between you and me, Vardenfell was entirely too dusty, bleak, and fanatical for my taste. Good money, though. Jazir would absolutely agree on every count, including the good money. And good friends, too. Lost most of both coming over the Valus range. Goblins got the lot of it. Goblins? Aye, filthy creatures, but they're handy with an ambush. That's what they did to us. One moment there was nothing but rocks, the next goblins boiling out of every little hole in the ground. Wrecked the wagon straight away, and that's about the last thing I saw, except Elahai throwing fireballs. Where's Elahai? He was an Argonian I met in Ebonheart. Very good mage. I used to hire him a lot to do spell work for me. He had a bit of a wanderlust, you might say. I think he's pretty much been everywhere there is to go in the Empire. He sighs. I suppose he's dead now. However, last I saw, it was him against a dozen goblins, so. Uh, although, I suppose if you're willing, I'd like to know if he has, he or any of my stock made it out all right. If you're willing, I'd be give, willing to give you something from my stock if you can get him out alive. Hmm, oh, really? I really hope you can find him. Tell me about Way. Way? Nice little town. Right on the main road to the Imperial City, so I see plenty of customers, but avoid all the competition. Not many problems, as I see it. Nothing I'd like to talk about, stranger. Okay. Rivers? In the west, in old Colovia, that's where men are men. That's the Gold Coast, West Weald, and Colovian Highlands. Mm-hmm. And apparently in the east, in Nibane, is where men are bandits. Almost all of them. Make more bandits than normal people. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. All Cyrodiil, you say? That's quite a... That is quite a bold claim, sir. Raw Stalrim. Okay. Wasn't well, expecting to see that. Maybe he does have some good stuff here. Fletching jig, he's got some boards, a bunch of deeds for random things. Sewing kit. A winemaker. Mm -hmm. uh, if only Jazir had somewhere to call home, he might actually buy that off him. Do 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 do. Why don't you buy some things off us? Hang on with you a bit first. Since we're doing a favor for you, but going to find this Elahai guy, you know. 
We should know the sort by weight, shall we? You got a great deal then. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, lots of selling to do apparently. Okay, well, I sold all the stuff that was worth selling. And I also got rid of. Um, I, I kept one one Vala stone for recharging our magic items if we ever need to, uh, and I got rid of um, the pickaxe in the end because I just figured it weighed eight and um, well, haven't had the need to use one in ages now, uh, so maybe it's better, we're better off getting rid of it. So that's what I've done. And uh, yeah, rather surprisingly, I've sold virtually everything I needed to sell to this guy. So, uh, what the heck just happened? I just got randomly healed by something, and I have no idea what. Oh! This guy's shooting healing spells at this dude, and he missed and he hit me. What? What is going on? This is weird. Why are you shooting random healing spells at people? <laughs> Hello? Maxentius Alosius. Pleased to meet you, stranger. I'm Maxentius Alosius, a man of wealth and taste. Oh, really? Is this, what do you know about this place? Fantastic little town, isn't it? I'm a very happy, prosperous little place, if I do say so myself. Um, well, really? I heard there's some problems here. Why, well, you have no problems in way, stranger? None at all, unless, of course, you make them. And you wouldn't do that now, would you? Ah, uh, gladly. Okay, so what about this quest that we got? Let's look. Down a hole. I talked to Thelonius, who wants me to find and explore a goblin lair near where he was ambushed. Inside, he wants to know if I can find either his friend Elahai, the remains of his trade goods, or both, which would be a really trading hall, conveniently enough, actually. Okay, cool. Well, we'll do that then. Just not obviously right now. Jazir has places to go, things to see, you know. Lots of money to spend. Speak. Well, this is all very impressive. Probably the most impressive place. Jazir has ever been to. I think the only thing that would probably come close is perhaps for Vex City. So I imagine he's probably docked there once or twice. Although, would he have? Vivek doesn't really have any docks. He's probably been to Ebenhart and seen Vivek in the distance. I don't know if he's actually been to Vivek itself. Hello. What is it? Fellow traveller. What do you want? Nothing, just saying hello. Bye. We arrived just in time, apparently, because the sun's setting. Do, 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 do. Stables over there. And the entrance to the city itself. The Imperial City! How are you? Hello! You have my State your business, citizen. Uh, Jazir would like to know where to go from here. What are you looking for? Uh, well, I suppose. Where, where can where can this one sleep for now? Merchants Inn in the market, King and Queen in Elven Gardens, the Tiber Septum in Talos Plaza, and All Saints in Temple District. Huh. There's also the bloated float on the waterfront, but <laughs> that's not a very nice neighborhood. Oh, I don't know. Sounds like Jazir's kind of neighborhood. <laughs> Uh, tell me about the landmarks. The Imperial Palace is at the center. The six districts are arranged around the palace like spokes of a wheel. Starting in the northeast, moving clockwise, you have the market, arena, arboretum, temple, Talos Plaza, and Elven Gardens districts. The waterfront is south of Temple District. The Arcane University is south of the Arboretum. The Imperial Prison is north of Market District. And with better cities, there's also a Diplomatic District, which is... Um... There. 
Oh. Ooh. Right. Well, so. Yeah, things have changed a bit since I last played Oblivion on the channel with Better Cities, because another new version of Better Cities has come out since then. And as you can see, things are a bit different now. You've got these big uh, overhanging terraces and stuff. No, I think they had, they had something like this before in previous versions wow. of the mod, but uh, they were using like weird spiral staircases and stuff. And it didn't look very architecturally sound, but they've changed it apparently since. And it looks way more legit now. It actually looks a hell of a lot better. The Elder Council will take care of things, sooner or later. A little flag up on the really? roof there. Just go away. Good evening. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Just go away. Oh, good evening. The Imperial Watch seems awfully worried about the Grey Fox. Look at all those wanted posters. Yes, Jizyar has noticed lots of those. Who is this Grey Fox? Oh, he's that wanted criminal. I isn't he a master thief? I hear he's dangerous, too. I've heard that the beggars spy for him. But she got some sort of note from a lady that claimed it was from the Grey Fox, actually, but uh, they, I think this one thinks it was probably just some sort of scam. Anyway, good day. I'm through talking to you. <laughs> you know, the voice actor that, that voices the, uh, the male orcs. I don't know his name, but he really deserves a bit of credit for being a little bit of an unsung hero of this game, because when you think about it, he voices the the male versions of the Orcs, Nords, Khajiit, and Argonians in this game. That's like four separate races he's doing he's doing voices for. Hello. Putting a lot of work in that guy was. Here other than people's houses, but still, uh, well, aside from getting a really more, slightly more interesting view of the district, I suppose, when you can see all the rooftops, kind of changes how the whole thing looks, doesn't it, when you're up here? Hurry up before I change my mind. Kind of makes you want to go running around from rooftop to rooftop like an Assassin's Creed. <laughs> What's this? Pub 102. Oh god. Okay, no, what? Oh, there's a little, there's a bard playing very loud music. Hi, I'm, I'm not, it's not really my thing, apparently. Um, might be copyrighted, so I should probably go, you know. Hi there. Hello. Evening. Evening. Where do you get these nice lanterns? Everybody has nice lanterns How except for Jazir. Jazir is jealous. Hi. You have really, really weird looking red hair, that's what. Can't say the foaming flask. Uh, why not stop in for an evening drink? Before tottering over to a to an inn or something. Oh game, why?